I'm making a little Zoom uh, video here to show you what I've set up and done. As you see me right now, I am using my Toshiba webcam. But I've also bought another uh, camera, and it's pretty nice. I'll show you. It is uh, a C920S Pro uh, Logitech. I've taken that and hooked it up to the computer. And if I go to my video bar on the bottom and I hit Pro Video, now you see the new cam. You see what the new camera looks like. And pretty, it's pretty sharp. It's a wider angle, and I think that's what a lot of people are using uh, for their Zoom presentations on uh, the TVs. Uh, and then I went out and I said, okay, I've got to. I like to tie flies, and I like to share some of that with the people. So I said, how can I do it and have them see? a nice sharp clear picture using my sony camera that i do for when i do youtube videos so i found out did some research and i found out there is a cam link 4k you can buy they're a little expensive now because everybody's trying to make money off of them and double in the price but anyway you can buy that hook that up and um, go over to your camera when you're ready say okay folks I'm going to tie a fly for you, and I'm going to tie the uh, bedspread fly. It's going to be a, a short video, but you can see how everything works through this presentation. So I go to Cam Link. When I click on Cam Link, it goes to my uh, Sony camera for uh, the um, videos that they use for YouTube. So I'm going to tie on a thread base. As we tie on a thread base back at the end, I'm going to cut off the tag end. I'm going to take some material, bring my bring my thread forward, lay this material down and catch it with my thread, and then tie it down as I go to the back. I'll do a little loop for my tail, and I'll capture, I'll do a pin trap three, about four times, tie that down real tight, then bring my thread forward. Now I'm going to uh, bring this material forward with touching loops to the front. As I get to the front, hold up my material and I'll tie it down with my thread. Make it tie it down with three. That's two, that's three. Tie a couple in the front. Bring it in the back again. Pull it tight. It's pretty secure. Now I can trim off my material. I'm going to wrap it and tie down that thread so it's pretty secure. It won't come off. Put it down. I'm going to do a whip finish, which locks everything in place. Cut off my thread. I'm going to add a little cement. I have to use Dave's Flex Cement, my version. Put that on there. Now I'm going to trim the tail. This is a special material, softball yarn. Bedspread fly is a popular fly that catches a lot of fish. Uh, those, it has two threads that cross each other that holds that yarn to, or that combed cotton yarn together. So I want to pull that apart so I can expose those two threads. And I'm going to cut, cut those threads off. You really don't have to. I don't think once you get them pulled apart because it's good, you've got a nice fluffy tail. But anyway, if you see the threads there, I'm going to take that one off. There's four of them. You just have to find them. But for right now, I'm going to say that's okay. So there's a bed spread fly. Now that I'm finished with it, I can go back to my Zoom window, click on my video, and click on my camera. And it's going to bring me back to the screen so I can talk to you guys again. And all this time, I've been recording it. The recordings, I have to say, are not as great as if you record with your camera correct it and then put it on youtube and mp4 but it does give you a, a pretty good recording and it gives you something to look at so right now uh i thank you guys and uh, uh